Ooh, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's Mark, table tennis enthusiast, coach, player, whatever you want to call me, from the little town of uh, Cainsham between Bath and Bristol. Uh, this week is a bit of a bumper week because uh, thankfully um, our guys won the cup, not this Monday just gone, but last Monday. So um, yeah, we won the restricted cup in the Bath and District League. Um, this cup is for uh, divisions uh, one and two, so we're in division one and we managed to uh, reached a final and we actually played our B team so it's the first time in 14 years that a key centre club um, has actually lifted the cup. We're very fortunate enough to have um, our A and our B team both in the final. Uh, both teams played really well to get there um, so our B team beat Bear Flat B uh, who finished above them in the league in Division 1. Dave Carter is now called the Bear Slayer so he did very very well so congrats uh, for them to make in the final. Very difficult road for them. And then our A team, we managed to beat Chippen and B, who comfortably won Division One. Uh, it's the fourth time we played them this season, uh, and yeah, we beat them uh, in the fourth time of asking, thankfully. So, yeah, really good um, result there. I kept the same team uh, going into the final, uh, a bit late in getting the um, footage out. So, um, without any further ado. Breathe. 
six four five. <coughs>
There you go, you guys. That gave you a little bit of a taste of what it's like to play in uh, BAF Division 1, hopefully. Um, you know, we had 11 people watching, which I thought was um, a pretty good crowd, considering it's not uh, one of your main, you know, sports. Um, we had a few players from our club, from the C team and other members of the B team. Um, and then a couple of uh, people just watching from other teams, which was great to see. I uh, didn't have to come down, so appreciate those people coming down and watching and making finals night a great night. Um, Moving on, like I say, a bit of a bumper one this week. I'm not sure whether I said that or not now. I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, because I was late in editing the other footage, um, uh, just due to work and family life, um, this is going to be a kind of two-week weekly update. So um, yeah, this week down in Bath, we had a fantastic turnout um, for a bank holiday. So May bank holiday this week. We had 19 players turn up. So that was um, absolutely amazing. We had uh, Paul Jeffries from the Premier League. Um, I say Premier League, you know, Premier Division in Bath. Uh, he took his time out of his day to come down, uh, play some of our social players, some of our improving players, and um, really gave some good hints and tips to them. So I really appreciate that. Um, really appreciate you, Paul, from Bath Invaders for coming down. Um, Bath Invaders are one of the, uh, should we say, liveliest teams in the Bath and District Table Tennis League over the past few years since they formed. Um, Paul Jeffries and um, Simon Monks are the guys that run it now. Uh, Simon is one of the most colourful characters you meet in table tennis. Really nice guy. Um, and yeah, look forward to playing um, you know, him and Paul again soon, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that was Monday. It was really um, yeah, really good to see um, you know, just healthy competition uh, going on. I got called out at the end to play uh, Amanda. So I hope you enjoyed that, Amanda, and um, learned a few bits and pieces from that. And uh, I'm sure you'll get me next time. I've been challenged by Olga next week, so that should be interesting to, to play her as a player that I haven't played before. Um, but yeah, really enthusiastic social members of our group. So yeah, really keen to um, you know keep that going. Hopefully, if you can make it, St John's uh, School next week, five fifteen to seven fifteen on Monday. Um, and then tonight we just finished up Kingsham Table Tennis Club. Um, so last, so this session and last week went really really well. Um, fewer people than normal. Again, I think that's because we got a. I'm not really sure actually. I need I need to put my finger on why actually because it's been Easter, but Monday's been very vibrant and these sessions have been a little bit quiet. So I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board a little bit and figure out um, and get some feedback as to, to what people are doing and, and why they're potentially not coming to these sessions at the minute. But um, still a good number in the room tonight. We had 11, so we had a little adult tournament. Um, congratulations to two of our new players, so Connor and Archie, who are both at the same school in Bristol in Clifton. Um, they both got through the same group that they're in, finished second and you know, first and second, respectively. Um, and then they met each other again in the finals. So they played the um, second place and the winners of uh, my group. So I finished uh, <coughs> third in the end. Um, and it was really good. It was a handicap. So we um, yeah gave some uh, quite generous handicaps to people. I think we got it just about right on the night. A couple of things all have tweaked. Um, but congratulations to Archie for winning the overall competition. I'm really good to see. He actually graduated to get his own peg this week um, with our peg system. So yeah. Um, to quote him, it was the proudest moment of his life so far. So, um, yeah, hope there wasn't any sarcasm there. But, yeah, hopefully it was, uh, you know, a good thing to, to do tonight and, you know, to top off and win the competition. Um, yes, yeah, so that's really good. That's it, really, guys. Um, I'm absolutely shattered, as you can tell. So, um, yeah, we'll see you all next week. Uh, like I say, Monday nights in Bath or um, Thursday nights here in Cainsham, 7 to 9 p.m. Fair Hall. Uh, and also, um, big shout out, thank you for two new subscribers. Really appreciate you guys for watching. Um, and if you want to see me um, make any particular videos or talk about any topics in particular, then please let me know. Um, also, this week is um, Battle of the Paddles. So that's a very um, fun competition in Bristol. It used to be for uh, sort of young uh, business professionals in the city centre. We used to go around lots of pubs and bars, um, have a few drinks, listen to music, and play some table tennis. Uh, this week on Saturday, it's the return of it, but in a very relaxed social way. So is that our form of vinyls venue? So uh, Campus Skate Park, I think it's called, or The Pool. Um, but yeah, it should be great to get back to that venue, um, see some of the traps again, play some singles, play some doubles, 
And yeah, just have a relaxing time. So that's my weekend sorted. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy yours and I'll see you again soon. Just remember to like, subscribe, share. The more we talk about table tennis, the absolute better, really. All the best. Thank you. Cheers.